everyone welcome back on my channel today we will see one new real time project on space mission analysis and uh, so i will explain how to transform data in query editor okay so let's start from the data set understanding and here we have all these columns present so now we have this uh, header name in this first row and here we don't have the headers okay so we have the company location date time rocket mission rocket status price and the mission status columns okay and uh, now from this location column i need to split this uh, location from the country name okay so i want one new column for the country names only as a location as per my requirement okay so i i want to do the analysis as per countries also okay so from this raw data i need to separate these countries like this usa Kazakhstan. Okay, so I need to split these countries from this location column. So for splitting this location, I need to right click over this column by selecting. Then here we have the splitting column option. Then by we have all these options present as per my need. I need to do the uh, separation by delimiter. Okay, and from this I need to select the rightmost delimiter. And we can set this code character also. So now no need to set this code character, but I can select it as a none. Okay. So then by clicking over this OK option, I will get this splitted like this. Okay. So it is splitted into columns, column two converted into column two point one and column two point two. So now what I can do? If I require this column only, then I will delete this column so that it will not increase the size of data model okay so uh, we can split the column from this option also so this is also the same option or else we can select this column and click right click and from here also we can do any transformation so after this splitting column i have converted this first row as a header so previously i have this row as not a header so for converting this sec first row as a header here we have an option here is one arrow is there uh, we need to click on this arrow and then we need to select this option use first row as a header after clicking over this option we will get all these column names converted into the header okay like this so now we have this column as header company location column 3 so that splitted column is converted into column 3 now the date time rocket and all these columns okay so after converting this column we can change the data type as per our uh, need and then i have removed this location column so previously we have this location column present so in next step i have removed that column and then i have renamed this column name column 3 as a location so now i have this data as a proper so now i have i have this transform data so that i can use it in the analysis and i will create kpi as per my requirement okay so after doing this all transformation we need to click over here and we need to we need to close and apply these changes in the OBI desktop so after clicking or close and apply we will get this data here and then that data will come into this fields okay so now in our power bi desktop we have the sorted data so here we have the company name date time rocket mission rocket status price mission status successful mission failed mission and the location so this is the location column that we have splitted okay so here we will not able to see that steps whatever we did in the power query data here we have only the data present okay so now we need to create the kpis and do analysis okay so first of all i have used this figma tool also here for doing the design so i have created the frame in the figma and then i have imported that as a as a page background okay so here we have all those options for doing this uh, formatting for this particular page so from here we can select the canvas background 
and I have uploaded that frame here and I have selected this fit option from this image fit okay so that I will get that image fit into my dashboard size we can set the dashboard size from this canvas setting so I have set it as a custom and I have set that height and width as per my requirement okay so you can also set uh, size from here so you can set anything from this for the page okay as per your requirement so then this is the space mission analysis so here i have created some kpis and analyze the data so i will explain all those kpis and how to create that visuals and how to get insights from the data okay so first of all i have created these four cards for showing the total mission successful missions failed missions total rockets okay so for uh so here we have this total mission count so for adding this total missions i have selected this card and in the card i am showing the total mission okay count of mission so for showing this i calculated this count of mission measure in this count of mission measure i have created the count of space mission and mission so this is the table name this is the column name and here we are getting the count of total missions okay and then we need to drag and drop that measure in the card so that we can able to see this count here and then here we are analyzing this successful mission count so for successful missions and the failed missions i have created this successful mission so here I have uh, used the if condition. If space mission mission status equals to success, it will show the successful missions to me. Then I have created the failed missions uh, measure. So this is the calculated column. We can use if condition in only calculated column, not in measures. That's why I have created it as a calculated columns. So here I am doing the space mission analysis. Here I am doing if space mission mission status equals to failure it will show the failure mission okay so in this way we can create these two calculations and we can use that values in the card so that we can we are able to see the successful mission count and failure missions count so now we have this total missions 4630 and from that 4630 we have successful missions count is 4162 and failed missions count is 357 okay and here i am analyzing the total rockets so what count of rockets that we used for all total missions so 370 rockets are there okay so for calculating rockets counts also i have used count function to calculate the count of rockets now i will show you this visual of high rockets by price so here i am calculating the value for top high rockets so for showing this visual, I'm taking the rocket in Y axis and price in X axis so that I able to see the rocket's price. And here I'm doing the top five filter. So from here, this filter section. So here we are, we have all the three options for doing the filter, advanced filtering, basic filtering and top end. So I have selected the top end and according to the price, I want top five rockets price. Okay. So I have did the filters from the, uh, that section. So this is showing the top five rockets by price. So after clicking over here, here we are getting the information about space shuttle discovery. It is having the more number of price according to the. So in this, by using this chart, we are getting the insight as space shuttle discovery rocket is having the more number of price and it is higher than all other rockets. Okay. So as compared to other rockets, it is having the more number of price we can see and this all is the top five rockets by price then in the second kpi i am showing the missions by latest five years okay so we have all the years present in the data from i guess 1957 to 2022 okay so here i am using the latest five years only and total missions by latest five years so in 2018 there are 117 missions are there from this KPI, we can analyze like uh, in the latest five years, we have the um, more count of mission in the 2021 year, 157. Okay, so more than all these other four years in from la latest five years. Okay, so we are getting this information from this visual. 
and uh, this is only the simple bar chart cluster column chart we can say in power bi so i am using this chart and here i am taking year in the x axis and count of mission in y axis and then i am doing the simple manual formatting from this filter section so that i can so uh, i am selecting the basic filtering from this option and from here i can select the latest 5 years okay so i have selected that latest 5 years from here and then i have logged this visual okay so it will apply on this kpi and here we will able to see the missions by latest 5 years then next kpi is for missions by top 5 companies so which companies having the count of mission is more than others okay so this kpi is showing the top 5 missions by companies so from this we can analyze like company rvsn ussr is having the more number of missions as compared to the other companies okay so it is the top most company that is doing 17177 missions okay from this data then this is this kpi is for top 5 companies by price so which company is having more number of price for doing the missions okay so from this kpi we can get the insight as nasa spent more money in the rocket mission okay like that so it is having the more number of price as compared to other all four companies in the top five companies okay then i am showing the rockets by usa versus russia in this line chart okay so this chart is showing the count of rockets by russia and usa so here we can see as per the year so in 1997 we can say uh, russia is having 72 number of rockets and uh, in usa only 40 okay. and in this 1962 russia is having 8 number of rockets and usa is having 60 number of rockets okay so we can get the insights like that from this line chart so this is all about my space mission analysis and all these kpis created by me and analyze the data and getting this insight okay so this is all about this video if you like my video please do subscribe and don't miss to press the bell icon so that you can receive the notification of my upcoming videos on the real time projects power bi for beginners and power bi task okay